you had an amazing week because I have. And I know during this global pandemic, it might be hard to stay motivated or read. But please note that we're all in this together and try and do the work assigned to you from your teachers and try and read for at least one hour a day. And before you know it, we'll all be fine. So let's get straight on with the video. As I said I would do last week, I am doing a book, I'm reviewing a book called The Apple Tart of Hope by Sarah So listen up because I'm going to read a little bit about the book that might um, like give you a faint idea of what the book's about. So listen up. Meg secretly adores her best friend, who makes apple tarts that seem to bring feelings of peace and happiness into those who eat them. Oscar Dunleavy, who used to make the world's most perfect apple tarts, is missing and presumed dead. His best friend Meg and little brother Stevie set out to find what happened and together learn about the importance of friendship. So, as the text says, Meg is the main character of the story and Oscar Dunleavy makes perfect apple tarts. It just reminds me of apple crumble. Oh, those sweet tastings, but his is different. His apple tarts make people feel happy and safe and sweet. But he is missing and they think he's dead. So basically, the text starts out with a funeral for Oscar then maybe. Because his bike, he didn't say in there, but his bike was found on the pyre. And they, th and they think he drowned in there. And so they start out with a funeral for Oscar. And there are lots of people in the, in the um, uh, funeral room. A lot of people. All wearing black. Oh, so sad. But Meg and Stevie know that Oscar is not dead and they go and search for him to see where he went and why he went. And it's really, it's a really interesting book. I'm suggesting this book to you guys because I really want you guys to know the ending of the book because it's amazing. It's one of the best endings I've read in a book, I've in um, any book, really. And to be honest, I would read the book a million times. It's amazing. So I really want you guys to know where he went, why he went. Is he dead? Is he alive? Why is his bike at the pyre? Why, um, if, he, if, he, if he is alive, why did he hide? That's what I was thinking in my head when I was reading. And I needed, I needed to know the ending. And I want you guys to know the ending too because it's very, very it's a very interesting book so go and check out uh, um sarah mar's books on amazon or anywhere really so this is the end of my review next week i'm going to be reviewing a book called the uh, a very good chance by sarah mar as well so please stay tuned for that video coming out next week so remember to like share and subscribe for more videos I'll see you guys next, next time. Stay safe. Bye.